So, hi, it's me, Denny Daniel of the Museum of Interesting Things. We're doing the unboxing for the Suffragette City Secret Speakeasy. Um, and everyone's unboxing boxes. Oh, um, that last dress that you guys are looking at, the brown one, that's the militant version of the suffragette movement. In England, it was more militant, so the clothing was not as girly as the white dresses. So that's why there's two different styles there. And you're welcome to touch any item you want there. So let me know the first person that's ready. Ah, excellent. So Robert Danny, opened up. Danny. No, really? You opened up the one for me. <laughs> so I, um, we have the world's, this is Robert. He's a sweetheart. And uh, we have the world's largest collection of birthday 45s. And I got the Three Stooges completely taped to this thing for some reason, really taped. <laughs> but I got the Three Stooges. There it is, singing happy birthday to me, Danny. Mm. Certainly. <laughs> oh. Certainly. That is cool. Thank you, Robert. Now I can do my own birthday show. So we have over 400 records that are birthdays. Oh. <laughs> you can open another one of you if there is another one. This is, the pa the, um, this is uh, basically uh, supplies for the uh, stereoscope uh, stereo uh, scope view, stereo views. So this is to protect them, uh, the archival slips for them. So this is actually super important. <laughs> I need lots of these. Um, so uh, what's your name? Aliana. Aliana, come on up over here. You want your great grandkids to know what you opened. <laughs> so this is looks like a record. Oh, excellent! I've never heard of this is BB King singing "Happy Birthday" because I did a birthday show for someone and they accidentally took the cover home, wow. and I have to have them give it back to me. So they're on the pro in the process of giving it back to me. I figured, you know, I should have two of these because it's one of the most popular ones I have. BB mm -hmm. uh, King singing. Uh, it says, "Don't better not look down," but the other side is "Happy Birthday Blues." Mm -hmm. So that's a really cool one. This one is like the star. Everyone loves that choice. Nice. Okay, so step right up. I We've got, got. I got the birthday card. Ira got a happy birthday card. This um, will kill but you it, too. But yeah, and this one will kill you. This will be your last birthday because it is the X-ray shoe fitter happy birthday card. So you would go to a shoe store. You know this. You'd go to a shoe store, and they had this machine called fluoroscope machine. And they go shoe, shoe. Exactly. You put your shoe, your feet in there, and it would X-ray without any protection your feet using the strongest X-ray known to mankind, probably. Yeah, it really was. It irradiated kids. It was completely crazy and stupid. Um, and this is apparently a postcard uh, for a company that had one of these. And who's from Massachusetts? Why did they do that? It's from Rockland, Massachusetts. Ooh, no so they had one of those in Rockland, Massachusetts. So Jessica, <laughs> I know you're from Massachusetts. <laughs> yeah, I used to work in Rockland. You used to work in Rockland? Well, I hope you're not glowing green. <laughs> no? Because apparently they irradiate children's feet in Rockland. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. No, why not? Yeah, certainly. Something's clearly afoot. Can you tell her, Tacony? So this is, as you guys know, this is Sam. <laughs> and uh, she is a great artist and opened up a very cool film, I hope. Let's see what it is. It's a surprise. It says on it, used film. The case <laughs> of the red-eyed ruby. Ah. The case of the red-eyed ruby. What is this? Oh, I think it's one of these inspector films. It's part of my spy versus spy film, because clearly she is a spy. Um, so, <laughs> so this is one of, this will be played for our spy versus spy film, and then she can say, I was the one who opened it before Denny. I cool am. one for you. <laughs> Case of the Red Ruby. So uh, what did you open up? A you little opened record, up, I think. Uh, it is a 45 record, and oh, this is part of my, I, we started a new show this January, beginning of January called Ridiculous Records. And this is clearly a ridiculous a ridi record. You think? Yeah. <laughs> this is a ridiculous record for my friends that play accordion, which would be Steven, one of my staff who does steam cordia in the punk in the steampunk scene. I guess Jessica, you probably know him. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be for him definitely. <laughs> and yeah, it's just completely ridiculous. Awesome. I wonder what's under that accordion. What? 
I know him too. You know, know him too? Oh, yeah, Joe Steam. knows him. Yeah. Much more. Yeah, he didn't know what steampunk was yeah. until he came to one of the steampunk World's Fair things that I did. Um, okay, so first of all, this one has the world's coolest stamps. I'm going to cover the... So people tend to know that I teach kids. Oh, this is Ida, by the way. Ida. There's Ida. Yay! Ida in the flesh, not on the Zoom. Um, imagine that. She actually is a human. Watch. Um, so, wait, where's my hat pin? I'll give you the neck pin. No, no. Um, so, so people know I teach kids, and they put historic stamps on the packages, which is just really so sweet of them. Open it from the back. Then and then the um, there Open is a record in here, but wait, you didn't do all your job. You have one job. <laughs> um, okay, so this there's is a... a there yes, there's, there's a note in there? Yeah, there's a note in there, a sticky note. Oh, okay, I'll find that in a minute. Uh, first, let's get this open. So this is um, a really cool Louis Armstrong record. Eight gonna give nobody none of my jelly roll. That is, the, why do I find that easy to believe that that would hurt you? I ain't gonna give nobody none of my jelly roll. <laughs> that is the coolest, what? Yeah, oh yeah, this is a very famous, and there's a bunch of great tunes on this one. Uh, Big Butter and Eggman, uh, my old Kentucky home, Chime Blues, Jelly Roll Blues, Dr. Jazz, Drop that sack, Panama, and St. James Infirmary, and Frankie and Johnny. Um, so Louis actually wasn't a singer. Uh, he started off obviously playing the horn. Uh, but there was a guy didn't show up to a gig, and who he was supposed to sing. And um, so someone tapped Louis and said, "Why don't you sing?" And he's like, oh, "I don't know if I can." Sing. Yeah, sing. Go ahead, sing. And he ended up singing. Everyone was like, "This is great!" And that's how he became a singer because some guy called in sick. Fabulous. So yeah, you gotta love it. You know, funny weird stories. They they in sick. So let me see what the did this guy write anything interesting on this There's note? A little sticky note over there. Why do I find? Why do I have a feeling <laughs> that that sticky note says nothing important? Uh, he wrote, "Thank you for your visit." Uh, yeah, nothing important. <laughs> I, I had know. a feeling, I was like, you know, it's probably just a note. Sometimes people oh. write something fun, but that time it wasn't. All right, All right. did we get everything? I think we did. We we oh, no, you have, Lou, you got one? Yeah. What you got there? It's actually from Lou, because oh. <laughs> you have such, so many friends out. Don't, 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 Denny sick. has so many friends out in Coney Island. Uh -huh. I got this book. Coney. Oh my God, that is so cool! Thank you. You're welcome. That is amazing. Look at that. Your... And it says it's got Nathan's right on the cover. Yeah. How Nathan's cool is that? So this gives you a really cool history. Coney Island, 1939, on the evil world War two. This is incredible. This is a really cool book. And you know, Nathan's. It was a guy that worked for Feltman's hot dogs, and then he started. Nathan's. He left uh, Feltman's and worked at Nathan's, and I've met both companies. Uh, but yeah, that's it's kind of a cool story, and it probably has more cool stories. All right, so uh, now we're going to play uh, the next film. First, I'm going to say goodbye to the people on this camera. Bye, people on that camera.